Hey everybody, Travis here from Travis.media. Here's the question today. Are you too old to learn to code? So let's say you're 50 years old, you started learning to code, you really like it, and at the same time you've been wanting to change careers, but you're 50 years old. Is it a good pursuit? Should you take it? Will you have success? Will it be difficult? Let's discuss in this video. All right, so as always, before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button below and subscribe to the channel. Lots of great videos on the way. So let me start off by saying this. The developer community in 2019 is a wonderful, encouraging community. It is just a lovely thing to go online and see all of the people encouraging each other that are struggling and learning to code or struggling to find a job or anything like that. It is so encouraging. I love the community so much. That being said, some of the encouragement sometimes goes a little bit too far and we need to be more real about certain things. So there is encouragement, there's a time for encouragement, and then there's a time for some real words to be said. And I think when it comes to this, some real words need to be said. Because if you go on Twitter right now and you say, hey guys, I'm 50 and I want to land a junior developer job, can I do it? You're going to have 50, 100 comments of everybody going, you can do anything you want. Age doesn't matter. Um, you know, and giving you all these reasons why you'll, you're not going to fail or you're not going to have a hard time. And it's just not true. It is possible, they're right, it is possible to get that junior developer job at 50, of course. But the thing is, it's going to be much harder than if you were 20, 22 years old. Now, when I started, when I learned to code, I started freelancing at 34. So it wasn't 50, but it was 34, and it wasn't as easy for me. If a company is going to take a chance on a junior developer, it's better to, to pick someone younger because you know, they're more, they, they have more energy, they have a sharper mind, they have many more years to develop their skills, though uh, doesn't mean they're going to stay with the company. A lot of people are leaving companies and, and kind of jumping around these days. So, but in general, it's not going to be as easy given that you don't have a lot of experience. If you had a lot of experience as a developer, then uh, of course age doesn't matter and age may actually be a better thing. But if you're a junior developer and you're 50, it's going to be harder. So let me just say that much. You're going to have a tougher time, but look, don't accept fluff from people that keep telling you that it's going to be easy, but just don't accept the fluff out there that all of the people telling you that you're not going to have any problems any trouble finding a job because it's going to be tough at 50 years old. But at 50, here's my proposal to you. So you have, what, 20 plus years of work experience, real life work experience. You've been in meetings, you've worked with large groups of people, or you've worked in offices with people. You might have managed people, you might have been a manager, you might have been a supervisor. I mean, you have so much experience over that many years, right? Why not, instead of going and finding a job somewhere and going and, and trying to pass a coding exam from a guy that's probably the age, same age as your son, you know, you got to go in there, you're the, you're the older guy and you got to go in there and sit down and kind of, um, you know, try to do your exam. Instead of doing all that, why not freelance? Why not say, okay, I have a decent job now, I'm going to kind of stick with it for a while while I learn to code. I'm going to start picking up some work on the side while I'm still working this job and kind of work up my client base and grow my freelance business to something sustainable. Then you have your own company um, and people probably trust you more that you're older. I know when I started being 34, I think people found it easier to trust me with something like a $6,000, $7,000 project than someone that's like 18 trying to take on the project. So, so it's actually kind of reverse. You freelance, you, you'll be more trusted at an older age, whereas you get the junior developer job, you probably will find it easier if you're younger, or they'll find it easier to hire you if you're younger. So look, freelancing is a great option. You have a big skill set anyway, and the barrier of entry is low. That's the big thing for me. So freelancing is basically, this person has a need, you know how to do it, and you meet it. That's all freelancing is. It's not some complicated thing, it's just, getting your name out there, getting yourself out there, and finding where the needs are and meeting those needs. And here's where, here's where everything gets great. So say that you just know HTML. Just know HTML. You cannot get a junior developer job like that. But if somebody builds their website and they're like, uh, I need this, this text changed or I need this new section put down here or I need some email templates or anything like that, you're the man. You can do it with just knowledge of HTML. 
Add CSS to that, and I've said this for, for years, all right? If you know CSS well, you can make a career out of just CSS and HTML, of course. But if you know CSS, then when these people build websites and they don't like the design or they need some kind of new feature put here, they want the button a different color, they want the text bigger, you're the man for that job. So knowing HTML and CSS, you can step into freelancing already, whereas that much will not get you a junior dev job. Now add to that basic JavaScript, so DOM manipulation, just know the DOM well, and then something like WordPress slash PHP. So WordPress is huge right now, and in the freelance world, that's the main thing. Like if you go on Upwork, you can type in React, you can type in you know, Django, Python, anything like that, it's gonna come up with some work. React probably more than anything else. But if you type in WordPress, there are tons of jobs out there because small businesses are using WordPress and they need people like you to manage their sites. So all that being said, freelancing is a great option at 50 years old and it may be an easier option to get into. Now here's the last thing I wanna say. If you do that, you gotta go all out. You gotta get radical. You're 50, you got 15 years to retirement if you choose to, to do that retirement stuff. But you got 15 years, you gotta get super radical. You gotta let your family know, you gotta let your friends know. You gotta you know, create your website, you might have to run some ads, you might have to you know, call some people and tell them what you're doing, but you gotta get radical. So you may be at a spot where you're like, uh, I know this much, but I only feel comfortable doing this, this kind of level stuff. You can't, you're at this level, you gotta take all the jobs up to this level. If it goes a little bit higher, you gotta learn it. You are awesome, you've learned that much code, and people are coming to you, and you gotta really step out and say, look, this is my chance, this, I'm gonna have fun with this, I got 15 years left, and I like coding, it's a, it's a wonderful thing, it's in demand, people need me, I gotta, I gotta get out there and do it. So just remember that. You don't need to know a whole lot to get into freelancing. It's a low barrier to entry. Maybe I'll put some resources for you below. And if you have any questions on freelancing, just put it in the comments below and I'll, I'll help out. I freelanced for a year and a half before I took the job I'm currently in. And it was wonderful. And I have a lot of advice for you. But at 34, that was that, when I started out and I was learning those basic things, that was best for me. And it sustained me for a year and a half. And um, I think it would do well for you at 50 if that's what you're doing. But look, if you're like, ah, no, I gotta have the job, it is still doable, but don't let anybody tell you it's gonna be easy, okay? It's gonna be tough, but you can do it. But consider freelancing, just my thoughts. So anyway, I hope this was a little bit helpful, and um, as always, subscribe to the channel, and let me know if there's any videos I can do for you, anything I can record to help you out. So, have a great week.